I wanted to see these ships that were washed up on onto the land because I felt like that was just the most the, that's the most powerful you know symbol of the tsunami is the this ship that is like in someone's yard or something. We had planned on going to Japan long before the earthquake. This idea of going to Japan at all was something that everyone here was really nervous about. I think that the perspective from California was like, we're getting radiation over here. What the heck are you thinking going all the way over to Japan? You know, I have friends who are taking iodine here and you know, I'm only gonna be over there for 10 days. There's people that are living there indefinitely. That was a really, really weird reality. The better parts of humanity come out in times of crisis, like people's openness to one another and activeness to help one another out without any sort of judgment. If that's a tsunami zone and you can't build there anymore, if that's nuclear and you can't, you don't want to live there anymore, what are you going to do with that space? That is art. That's that's an opportunity to like plant a thousand, you know, cherry blossom trees and strawberry fields forever and like huge like peaceful parks you know because it's the energy that you leave that that carries on and if you leave a mess you just carry this this carelessness on your guide that you ran into said something pretty poignant yeah to you when you were standing in the cemetery we were standing in about the, that? we were standing in the cemetery in front of these graves and he's kind of explaining to me that all of what was in there was gone, and the temple that was standing there is one of the only buildings that's left. It's raining, and all of a sudden the sun breaks through the clouds, and and he says to me, I don't know what you think of religion, but this is, this is a time when we pray. <laughs>